Oh, Kirsten and the Mayor of Napier joins us in actual fact. Kirsten, thank you for taking time out of what must be hell on earth for you at the moment. I appreciate you being and joining us this morning. Oh, hey, look, no, no problem at all, Michael. And it's so important that we actually do take advantage of these opportunities with media so that we can push information out to our community. And that's what has... Um, there's been a frustration amongst so many of your people uh, in Napier at the lack of information, Kirsten. It must have been making you tear your hair out as well. Oh, look, it has been so incredibly frustrating and just heartbreaking because, you know, I really want um, our people to know what's happening and what we're doing and how everyone's um, working together to try and um, resolve some of the challenges that we've got here. So I do say thank you so much to radio because that's been our primary means of communication. All right, Kirsten, can you tell us where we are as of Friday morning? What is the state of play in the area that you're responsible for, which is the Napier City? Okay, so um, unfortunately at this stage we are still without power to the whole city, which is obviously um, the, the biggest priority at the moment. Unison and Transpower are working frantically and they do have um, a possible bypass that might get us between 15 and 30% within the next couple of days, um, but it could be days if not weeks before the whole city is back online. Um, Obviously, internet and phone services have been uh, very patchy as well. All the phone providers do seem to be back up um, at, in some capacity now. Um, however, if people can't charge their phones, that's not very useful, unfortunately. No, that's right. Um, mm. Yeah, so um, thankfully we do now have two of our access roads open. State Highway 51 is open for emergency service uh, services and critical workers only, and State Highway 2 is open for the same, but also for um, community members who need to go and see vulnerable uh, family members in Hastings or people that are actually wanting to leave the region and have places to stay uh, sort of further down south in the North Island. So, you know, they're, they're three of the really key things that we've been working on over the, uh, over the week. So let me get this right. You can leave Napier now, Kirsten. Yes, you can, yep, via our expressway, State Highway 2. All right. So would your advice be um, that given the state of affairs in Napier uh, and no electricity, etc., that if you can leave, it would be a good thing to do if you had somewhere to go? Absolutely. We are encouraging people who have friends in whānau, um, you know, elsewhere uh, that, uh, yeah, pack up and, and, and head away because, uh, yeah, we still have absolutely no guarantees whatsoever as to when our power will be back on. And that will also reduce, I imagine, the stress and pressure upon uh, vulnerable services too in, in the Napier region. Oh, look, it, it, it absolutely will. And because, you know, the other challenge we have is around food and fuel supplies. Because our roading network's been closed, um, we haven't been able to restock. We do know that there is a lot of supplies on their way today to restock our supermarkets and petrol stations, which is fantastic. Um, but again, if, if you do have the ability to go and stay somewhere else, it will ease the pressure on the supplies for the rest of our community as well. I said before that everybody used to define themselves in Hawke's Bay, and you would know this, Kirsten, as well in some way, shape or form by the 1931 earthquake and which family members had lived through it and the sort of um, ambiance that, you know, still resonated through that place. I mean, obviously the whole built environment is a, is a consequence of... This is, the, this is that level though, isn't it? Oh, it, it absolutely is. And, you know, out and about talking to community members and it is one of the first things that sort of, you know, it's top of mind for people. It is so... Um, similar and we, we do think instantly back to that earthquake in 1931. Mm. Um, now, um, I've also been talking to Jeff Whitaker, um, former MP, you would know Jeff, um, I think he was a former Mayor of Havelock North too. Um, he was resident in the Esca Valley and watched all this unfold. Um, he has grave concerns for people who were living on that floor, the valley floor. I guess that's going to be a continual fear for you too? 
Oh, it certainly is. And um, I had an update from the police uh, and friends yesterday who were coordinating, obviously, the search and rescue out to the Esk Valley area. We are constantly asking people if you have any concerns for loved ones that you haven't been able to contact to please ring the police on 10 5 um, and report that because they have got a whole team working on trying to contact um, people that that to date haven't been contactable um, I, I also just want to reassure people throughout the whole country though if you haven't been able to get hold of loved ones it may well be just as a result of the communication networks being mm. down um mm. so yeah so please please keep trying to contact them but also if if you're concerned contact that 10 5 police number um and looking ahead to the next two or three days priorities for you as mayor and for your council are uh, well, obviously, just continuing to apply pressure on um, our national and regional partners to get our power up and running and the roading network as safe as it can be. Uh, mm. We are um, still in a situation where our wastewater plant is not operational, so still asking our community to conserve water. Um, our drinking water is safe though, so please keep hydrated, keep drinking um, water, but in terms of um, our wastewater system, don't flush the toilet unless you absolutely have to. Very short showers or better yet, sponge baths. Um, we really need to focus on conserving that water supply. And also just to our community, keep yourself safe, stay away from flood waters. Um, we don't have any waste collection at the moment, so make sure you're packaging your waste in a way that, you know, is, is not going to contaminate. Um, yeah, it, 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 the, the focus is on our community, looking after our community and helping them to look after themselves. Just on the wastewater being compromised, does that mean that it's going straight out to sea or is it being just going into the floodwaters? Uh, so we've got, we do still have pumps in, on generators, so we're doing our absolute best to manage those discharges, how they are. Um, so yeah, we, we um, it's not running through the streets, I guess is what I'm trying to say and reassure people. Yeah, that's um, what I see, yeah. Okay. Don't, yeah, we haven't just got raw sewer yeah. running through our streets, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. No, well, good. that would be a health risk and hazard all of its own. Um, there are roughly 60,000 people oh, in Napier. Yeah. Um, how many people do you expect to take advantage of getting out now? As many, um, what, tens of thousands? Oh, we have no idea. Um, I, I don't imagine it would be tens of thousands. And bearing in mind um, that in terms of driving, they can only go south. Um, we are completely cut off from the north. Uh, I should mention, mention that our airport is open, so those people that do have the means to jump on a plane can do that mm. as well. Um, but mm. we know there's a huge portion of our community that will not be able to evacuate outside of Napier. All right. And um, in terms of those ships, I think there were, the government was talking about two ships. If, if one was going to Tyrafferty. Is Have you got one headed for you as well? We have. We've got Tamana due here today. We sent them an extensive list of um, what we needed. We've, we're in desperate need of generators, um, you know, obviously yeah. alongside the, the, the supplies I've already spoken about. So we're very much looking forward to that arriving here today um, and alleviating some of these pressures that we have. Um, Kirsten, I won't keep you from your job. I know how busy you'll be. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I think the hearts... Well, the thoughts, the prayers of just every New Zealander are with you at the moment. The very best of luck to you. Thank you, Michael. Okay, thanks. Um, that is Kirsten Wise, the Mayor of Napier. Um, well, there's the update on that situation. Tamana's arriving today with generators. Uh, how interesting. Um, yes, a number of people have been taking photos just as of yesterday of a whole series of generators stuck outside the Trentham military camp that are for sale. Hmm. I know, about eight or ten of them. So you would have expected that they might have been on that boat, but they obviously won't be. Uh, and you can go south, all right? Well, that's good. So if you go south, where do you go south, Paul? I mean, you head for Hastings. Oh. Yeah. And well, you're going through North Waipaka and... Railway Power. No, but you see, Waipaka Railway Power, um, both have been devastated as well. You'll head towards, what, Danny Virk and, yeah. and, and then down to the Wairapa. 
Uh, could you get across to Hawk, to Palmerston North? Yes, I suppose you could over the Settle Road. But yeah, it's I suppose be a lot of you cars could on turn the road, north. Michael. A lot of I cars. was just going to say they're going to measure. They'll and a, a number of people will take that opportunity. But as uh, Mayor Kirsten's just said, um, a lot of people said we won't have that opportunity. And it's fine getting out, but also um, what I'm trying to look for my relative, Paul. I'm trying to look for Grandma. Um, trying to check up on my children. I'm dri- I want to drive north into. So will those people be stopped or not? Will they be monitored in? Um, well, at least you'll know what you're heading into, I guess. Will they go and pick up grandma or your children or your relatives who do not have any of these services and then take them out? So there's another os- opportunity um, as well. I guess we'll find out. Um, but I can't imagine anything other than a very long line of traffic getting out of Hawke's Bay today, and for good reason. And the natural fact that will assist everybody because it will mean that you aren't um, putting that demand upon the services that are there.